Let's rise. The uh, team for one minute. Without objection. Before coming to the floor, I was with two couples from back home, Lisa and Fred Ketting and, uh, and George and Jeanette Coiner and their grandchildren, and they're up here visiting. And as Mr. Coiner said, uh, you know, his goal in life is to make sure he helps leave a country that is better for their grandchildren than the one that uh, uh, his parents uh, bequeathed him. Uh, they are, like all of us, so worried about the deep debt this country is amassing each day, $10 trillion of new debt over the next decade if these plans, spending plans go forward. On top of a failed stimulus bill, on top of the 2,000-page health care bill no one read, this week Congress is going to take up a almost 2,000-page bill that will uh, institutionalize bailouts and I think harm our economy. We don't have a budget. First time in 40 years, end of this week, they're going to make up budget numbers. We're not going to vote on it, not have a debate. Uh, we haven't funded our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, they are, need money, but it's ha hung up because people here want to spend it uh, on other things. We've got to get this deficit under control, folks. We have to do it, or we're putting an the anchor around our children's necks. The gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose is the gentleman?